Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be a little ramble or rant kind of video. It probably will go there. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just giving you a heads up in advance. Um, just want to talk about a couple of, uh, couple of thoughts that have been going on in my brain for the last, like, week, two weeks or so. And, um, just figured may as well talk to you guys about them. So without further ado, let's get started. I have talked about my anxiety multiple times on this channel. I've been forthcoming with you guys and I've talked about my anxiety and the struggles that I've faced regarding my anxiety. One of the main struggles being overthinking. I overthink a lot. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Basically, you know that episode of SpongeBob where like it's his brain and there's a bunch of filing cabinets and the little mini SpongeBobs are looking for stuff and then everything erupts into fire and chaos. Yeah, that's my brain when it comes to overthinking things. <laughs> So for example, if I talk to somebody daily and then all of a sudden they stop talking to me for a couple of days, I start overthinking and the gears start turning and I'm making up all of these scenarios in my head of like, oh my god, did I tick them off? Did I anger them? Did I upset them? What did I do or say that hurt their feelings? And I start like getting anxious and my anxiety sets off and sometimes I'll have panic attacks and that's not fun. It's really not fun. However, it's me working myself up. It's, it's just, it's a lot. I've been trying to work on it, but sometimes it's, uh, like I said, it's a lot. In these episodes of overthinking, I guess you could call them, um, I will actually go to the person that I believe that I have ticked off. In my head, I think that I've ticked them off. And I will go search for answers. And I will genuinely ask them, I'm like, you know, are you mad at me? Like, are you okay? Like, did I upset you? And most of the time it's a no most of the time it's like no there's other stuff going on but i still go and seek out the answers because i want to know for sure it's me reassuring myself and it's not me trying to like tick anybody off it's not me trying to annoy anybody it's literally me seeking self-assurance that I, you know, haven't done anything wrong because maybe there's something that I said that I thought was funny that somebody else didn't think was funny and now they're upset about it. So I double check a lot because I want to make sure that I didn't offend somebody or upset somebody. However, it was brought to my attention that by asking people with no indication that they're mad at me, it kind of gets annoyingly repetitive. And I get that and I understand it. and. You know, it's it's not meant to be annoying. It's not meant to, you know, tick people off, but sometimes it does and I get it, I get it. So with all that being said, I made a new year's resolution. I made a couple, but this was the one big one that I made for myself and we're into mid February. So looking at things, I say that I've, you know, kept pretty close to it. I've, I've, I've done pretty well. And the New Year's resolution was, you know, when I start to overthink and things start to get chaotic in my brain to just step back, take a breath and remind myself that people have lives. I have a life that gets busy. Work gets chaotic. Things happen. Life gets busy. Everybody on the planet Earth has a life and things get busy. And some people go silent for periods of time, but then they come back to talking to each other, right? So just me remembering that you know if people go silent all of a sudden just take a breath if they have a problem with me they will come and talk to me about it life gets busy and people get busy and not everyone's angry with me if they go silent all of a sudden now going back to the topic of communication really quick here um, communication is so incredibly important in day-to-day -day life with any form of connection you have with somebody else, be it a friendship, a relationship, colleagues at work, family members, what have you. Communication is so important because I'm not going to know, for example, if somebody is upset with me for something that I did or said accidentally because obviously I'm never going out there to intentionally hurt someone that I'm close to. I'm never going to know that I've upset them if they don't come and tell me. Because I'm not psychic, I'm not a mind reader, I can't look into their brain and figure out, hey, they're mad at me. I'm not going to know unless they tell me. And I would really hope that those who I'm close to, I, I hope that they would come and just talk to me. Because I would rather them come to me and be brutally honest and 
give us an opportunity to just like communicate and talk it out than to go off and me find out about it like weeks later that they were mad at me and then have to communicate then when things have been sitting for so long. If I end up talking things out with somebody and they decide, yeah, Paige, you know, you've seen my side, I've seen your side, we've talked things out, you've acknowledged that you've upset me and you hear me and you understand my feelings, we can, you know, figure things out with our connection, our friendship, whatever it may be, that's great. That's, that's how that would work. But if somebody decides, hey, Paige, you literally have passed the point of no return, I don't want anything to do with you like it's better if we just like you know burn bridges now and they walk off and they want nothing to do with me at least they've given me an opportunity to hear their feelings to listen to them to hear their opinions and thoughts and they've given me the same they've given me that opportunity to express my opinions and thoughts to talk to them to try and repair things you know and I wish them nothing but the best. I hope that the world gives them all the amazing things. But at the end of the day, we've had that opportunity to talk it out and that's how it might have ended. Regardless of either outcome, we both got to hear each other out and communicate. I don't know how many times I've said the word communicate in this video, but I'm gonna say it again. Communication is so damn important. But yeah, those are just a couple of thoughts that I've had in the last little while. Um, it, it's just, remembering that people get busy and life gets crazy and just to breathe and there's a couple breathing exercises that I've been doing a couple grounding exercises that I've been doing as well to help with my anxiety and overthinking and it's actually left me feeling a lot lighter lately um, which is awesome because uh, I don't like the constant Spongebob fire chaos in my brain it's uh, it's not enjoyable <laughs> it's really not <laughs> I also just wanted to take this time really quick to say thank you to you guys. Thank you for being so supportive and loving. Thank you for listening and for hearing me out and putting up with all my craziness and ranting and rambling and what have you. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, honestly, just you guys mean a lot. So thank you. I'm gonna hop off for now because I feel like this video has gone on for a lot longer than I intended it to. Um, that's what happens when I'm just word vomiting my thoughts. <laughs> it just, that's what happens. I've been more active on Twitch as of late. Um, also been posting here on YouTube and TikTok. If you guys want to find any of my socials, they're down in the description below. Um, that's about it. Keep being awesome and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Bye.